Hello everybody, we are back on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are going to take a little bit of a look at the progress that we have made on our Great One grind. Now I have primarily been hitting three different lakes and that is this one right here, uh, this one near Bosque Alto, and this little guy down here. And initially I had just been doing these two lakes, but we had some issues with zones going doe only, so I now pretty much have just one good zone at this lake, which is kind of sad. Uh, I accidentally deleted my best zone, which I'm extremely sad about. Uh, and then these three zones here all went doe only. Uh, this zone I think still has a couple bucks, but I haven't even looked at that one. Uh, we got a couple bucks here. And then doe's only at this one also. Uh, this lake has by far been the most consistent. All five herds still have bucks. At least I believe it's all five. It might be four of them. They're pretty close together, so it can be hard to tell sometimes. And then this lake right here has two, maybe three herds that have bucks. Uh, it did have bucks at all of them, but then these two have gone doe only. Uh, these two have bucks, and this one also has a buck. And I believe this one does too. So we got some bucks at those, but it's just not as good as it was when I started. Now, I'm wondering if maybe I just need to change my uh, approach up a little bit. I've been kind of uh, just shooting whatever I can find and I'm wondering if maybe I should start going down to making sure that there's only two bucks being shot out of each herd uh, just like Grim was saying when using uh, his methods I think that might be what we're gonna have to start doing because I feel like I'm just deleting my herds by shooting too many bucks out of the area and Initially, I was just doing it to kind of speed up the process of taking bucks down because obviously the faster you can get bucks down, the uh, more chances you'll have of getting the great one. But it's really not paying off the way that I expected it to. But we do have our first uh, diamond of the grind and we're going to be taking a look at that today. And uh, that right there is actually a pretty decent buck too. Uh, we're not actually going to shoot any of these because this video is primarily going to be a highlight video. So. Uh, without further ado, let's actually jump into the highlights. We've got a few of them from a live stream that I did yesterday uh, when we were searching multiplayer for trophies. And then at the end, we got our first diamond whitetail of the grind. So let's go ahead and jump straight into them. That's an albino. I can't get a good look at it, so I don't know how big it is, but that's an albino. That's pretty cool. That is super cool to see. I think it's a, yep, it's a tiny buck. <laughs> Level two. Oh my. What a giant. What an absolute beast of a deer. See if we can make this shot. You know, I bet we can make this. Ooh, second one made it. First one did not. Yeah, second one got lungs, thankfully. Well, it may be a super small one, but it's still an albino mule deer. And that's pretty cool. Go ahead and stop our dog real quick. And let's go ahead and claim it. 106.40. I do like the new albino skins a lot better than before. I think the albinos look much more realistic now. Although, they'll look a little bit different depending on where you are. Well, it's only fitting that we would find ourselves a little piebald. We got ourselves the albino earlier and now we got ourselves a piebald here. And once again, it's tiny. Uh, just our luck, honestly. But that's still pretty cool, even if it is absolutely small. I think it might be slightly bigger than the other one. Did they uh, change the piebald pattern a little bit? It looks like they might have redone this one slightly too. Like not a lot, but just a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did they redo the piebald or was it just the albino? It's really hard to tell with these. Another piebald at the same lake on the same server. Beautiful. This one's just a female though. So I'm not gonna hesitate to take a long range shot. Truly show off the capabilities of the 
Nailed her. That is insane. Two piebalds at the same lake. And it's the two different patterns also. That one's just a female though. There she is. Our little piebald mule deer. It definitely doesn't look like they changed anything on the piebalds. So it probably was just the albinos, maybe the melanistics? I've yet to see a melanistic after the update, so I can't really confirm that. But that's cool. Little piebald female. Toss her in one of the secondary lodges. You guys may be wondering why I'm crawling right now, and well, short reason, there's a uh, deer up here. Uh, but basically I was looking around at some of my other whitetail zones that I haven't been using because I've been having terrible luck with getting good spawns in the herds that I've been farming. At this point we are at the end of the first day of Rancho Del Arroyo being out and I've killed around 200 whitetail bucks which is way more than I ever could have done on Leighton Lakes in the same amount of time so that alone is pretty insane. I've sunk about seven maybe eight hours into great one grinding today and managed to get around 200 bucks. It's uh, obviously not all that time was spent chasing down Whitetail, but a good six hours of that was spent chasing down Whitetail and we managed to get 200 in that time. Uh, but I wasn't getting any good spawns. I didn't have any rares or diamonds within those 200 kills. And so I was starting to wonder why I wasn't getting any good spawns. And well, I was talking to Flinter a little bit and he said that I should probably check the other lakes that I haven't gone to because I did have one lake that I haven't checked and that was this lake right here. And sure enough, I come over here and we've got ourselves a level three. I don't actually know where he went off to, but He's somewhere tucked back in this brush, and I think that might be him bobbing back and forth, actually. Uh, actually, no, that's him right there. As you guys can see, that is a guaranteed diamond, and that is actually a pretty massive one. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing breaks 270. Just look at the size of him. By far the biggest whitetail I've seen on Rancho Del Arroyo, and... I think it might be one of my biggest whitetail of all time, since they changed the scoring system. Uh, provided we make a good shot. I have the 6.5 with me, so should be able to get good enough penetration to nail the heart. And that definitely was not the heart, but I think we 100% got lungs. And down he goes, so now we just got to get around to him, but that should be a pretty massive diamond. But honestly, this right here is one of the biggest reasons why Grim always checks all of his zones before actually choosing which ones to do a grind with. Because if you don't check every zone, you might end up grinding 200 kills without getting anything even half decent, just to find out that you had a diamond chilling at a different zone the whole time, preventing good stuff from spawning. It really does seem like when you have good stuff on your map that are in other places, you tend to not get as many good respawns, so it's definitely good to make sure you take out all those diamonds before you really start grinding. Well, there he is, an absolute giant whitetail, and yeah, I definitely think that's going to be one of the bigger ones that I've killed since they changed the scoring system on them. It looks absolutely massive. That is such a giant whitetail deer. Well, anyway. Let's uh, try to get our dog to sit down next to it and try to get a quick picture. And I'm liking the way that's looking right there. Uh, for a second he was actually looking at the deer. I'm kind of hoping that he'll look towards him again. Uh, maybe we can get him to look over in that direction. What a giant whitetail. And a pretty awesome picture too. So uh, let's go ahead and claim this. 272 and it's max weight also. My gosh. Yeah, that's officially my biggest buck since they uh, lowered the scoring requirement. That's pretty incredible. What a beast. I can't believe this guy's been hiding on my map all day and I've just been grinding whitetail in other areas, not even knowing that this guy was here. That's probably why we have not been finding any diamonds or rares. We've had this beast of a buck on our map this whole time. I'm kind of wondering if there's any other diamonds on our map because a lot of people have been finding multiple diamond whitetail with their initial spawns for Rancho Del Arroyo just because there's so many of them. So I'm going to keep looking around and hopefully find another one. This lake that we're at right now is the only lake I hadn't searched and we're about halfway through all the zones so we got a few more chances at something else but I doubt that we'll actually find anything. 
but it's definitely possible. So with this being our highest scoring whitetail diamond since they changed the scoring on them, I do want to put it in the lodge somewhere, but I don't really have a place for it in either of these multi mounts. And the other multi mount that we have in this other room is our triple piebald one, so I really don't want to replace anything in that. I just don't know where to put this guy. I'm thinking that we're probably going to put it on just a wall mount. I think that's going to be the best way to go here. And I think out of all the areas that we could put this whitetail deer, I think this is probably going to be the best in between these two mule deer right here. So let's go ahead and drop that guy right there. That is such a monster buck. And for it to be our first diamond from Great One Grinding on Rancho Del Arroyo, that makes it even better. So we're going to continue grinding. I have noticed that I am seeing a little more 85 to 100 bucks ever since I took this guy out. So I'm wondering if because he was on the map, it was just making it so the uh, heavyweight bucks weren't showing up as much. There is a theory that having diamonds on your map does decrease the chances of more diamonds and stuff like that spawning in. So maybe there's something to that. Maybe there's not. We're going to keep grinding and maybe I'll know more after I grind for another thousand or two thousand kills if it takes that long to get our great one at least. But anyway, with that being said, guys, that's going to be it for the video. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notification bell. Also, be sure to comment down below with what we should do next, what you guys would like to see me do on the channel series-wise, or pretty much anything else, and I'll try to respond to as many of them as possible. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!